Hello everybody, today I'm friends with all you vegetarians. I'm making a vegetarian dish. This is eggplant stir fry with black beans. It's hearty, it's flavorful, it's so aromatic. Most importantly, this with some hot rice is going to be so satisfying that at the end of it, you're not going to be thinking of meat. Let's go. All right, so first off, what we need to do is, here, we've got this beautiful eggplant. I've washed it, all right, and we're gonna cut it. I here have a wok of oil that I'm heating up so that, you know, once we've done cutting it, it's ready to go. Let's cut it into this length. This is about two and a half inches. There we go, nice. And we're going to quarter them. Beautiful. Let's check and see if the oil's hot enough. There we go, it's starting to sizzle. I will be doing this in batches, yeah, just so that we maintain a nice hot temperature for the eggplant to um, sort of crisp up. All right, there we go. Once we see it's nice and brown, we can remove. Okay, what we want to do is let the oil come back up to temperature again before we put the next batch in. All right, for these eggplants that have just come up from the oil, what I like to do is season them lightly while it's still hot. Yeah, that way the eggplant is going to absorb that salt and it's going to get flavor. Now, second batch in. Frying the eggplant is a step that you should not skip. Yeah, it makes all the difference in a eggplant stir-fry dish. Yeah, it really gets it nice and fragrant. And this is what we want. And what it also does, it helps firm up the exterior so that once you stir-fry it, it doesn't start to mash up. Okay, now, same thing. Season with a little bit of salt. There we go, beautiful. We're gonna put this oil away and prep the stir-fry ingredients. All right, so here, I have some fresh shiitake mushrooms. We're gonna remove the stem. Now, because this is a vegetarian dish, so I'm going to use, to be relying on things like the shiitake mushroom, and also I'm gonna be using some uh, black beans. These are fermented black beans. So these are the couple of ingredients that I will be relying on to give the umami in this dish. Real nice. So, slice and dice. So as we cook these mushrooms, they're going to shrink and they're going to sort of, not disintegrate, but be that little, little, like mints almost. All right, now once these mushrooms are cut up, you can set them to the side. I know it might, it looks like it's a lot of mushrooms, but trust me, once we've sauteed them, they are going to shrink. 15 grams of ginger or 20 grams of ginger, slice and julienne. Four cloves of garlic, smash, five cloves. Now, if you're a vegetarian that can't take garlic and ginger, my friend, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> uh, people sometimes come to the restaurant and they say that they're vegetarian. I'm like, okay, cool, you know. For most vegetarians, I think we're good. You know, we can prepare stuff for you, but then they occasionally, we do get some people coming in and saying that, you know, oh, um, we can't even take, uh, we can't take onions, garlic, ginger, stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, well, I, I really wouldn't. And what I would normally tell them is, I'm sorry, I, I wouldn't know what, how to cook for you. And it's not out of um, disrespect, uh, but more so that, you know, we're not trained to cook uh, without these aromatics. So, um, and plus we don't stock up on alternatives uh, for these aromatics. You know what I mean? So guys, for those of you who can't take ginger, garlic, onions. It's always my response. I don't know what to say. Okay, garlic, nice and minced. Perfect, beautiful, put that aside. I have here half an onion, which you don't really have to use an onion. Um, but this is why I love stir fries, because stir fries sort of allows me to use up whatever halves I have in the fridge. And I do stir fries a lot at home. 
So if I don't use this onion, it's going to stay in the fridge a little while longer. And uh, you know, if I eventually forget about it, then it's going to go to waste, right? So I'm going to be adding onions into this. This is fermented black beans. I'm using about 30 grams, okay? Now, on its own, it's very, very salty. So what I usually do first is I rinse them out. By rinsing them out, you take off the first layer of salt, yeah? And uh, you are left with this beautiful umami. It's still going to be savory, it's just not as savory. So I'm just running my knife through uh, just so that later on when we stir fry everything together, it incorporates nicely. So just a rough chop. Okay, set that to the side and we are ready for stir fry action, baby. Alright, so first off, get some oil in. And we're going to fry up the ginger first because the ginger takes the longest to sort of brown and get nice and aromatic. Okay, once the ginger are halfway there, we're going in with the garlic and onions. Same as the ginger, we want to get the garlic and onion nice and aromatic before we continue with adding in the mushrooms. All right, once you see the garlic and onion nice and uh, getting nice and golden, we're going in with the mushrooms. Beautiful. Now, we're going to saute the mushrooms and let that mushroom release all its natural moisture and shrink. All right, once these mushrooms are nice and softened, we're adding in the black beans. Now you want to saute these black beans to sort of get it nice and aromatic. Get that flavor out. Mmm, beautiful. Now, we're going to prepare a light sauce. Half a tablespoon of dark caramel, one tablespoon of soy sauce, some white pepper, a little bit of water, just a splash. All right, a little bit of cornstarch, about half a teaspoon. Stir all these things together. Now, if you're not a vegetarian, you're free to add things like dried shrimps or oyster sauce to this, okay? It really is up to you. There we go. Now, I'm going in with this gravy, with this sauce that we've prepared. Now, the eggplant goes in. Toss it around. Little bit of water. Just to braise the eggplant a little bit, okay? To make sure all that flavor sort of enters into that eggplant. So the eggplant absorbs it like a sponge. Beautiful, turn off the heat. All right, lastly, we garnish with a little bit of spring onion. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is done. All right, so let's go in for a taste. Oh, you can smell the black beans. So delicious. The first thing you taste is the savouriness of the black bean, right? Together with the fragrance of the mushroom and all the arom aromatics that we added in. But as you chew into the eggplant, you get the eggplant sort of just releasing all that flavour that it's been braised in. And as you chew onto that black bean, you get this nice fermented umami flavour that's absolutely delicious. Mm. Again, where's my rice? This is so good. Anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this content, we think it's added value to you. All you vegetarian folks, this one is for you. And I'll see you next week. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe, okay? Ciao guys, peace. Mm. Mm. Really?